fellow chess enthusiast will assure you magnus is legit he is tremendously oh, yeah. talented he is the best living player in the game today and it's a very old game mm-hmm. But uh, he could go. He could go to bat. There's actually a lot of debate about how he would perform against other masters of the game. Uh, so it's, you know, it's it's not quite the same as uh, Michael Jordan having a bad day on the court. This is this is very different. History is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. So if you're familiar with chess, I mean, there aren't a whole lot of household names in chess, but if there were one, um, it would be a guy named Magnus Carlsen, who is a 31-year-old Norwegian uh, chess grandmaster. Um, He is a powerhouse player, um, has been since his early 20s, um, dominated the, uh, the the field of play um, in in chess in, in the professional chess uh, competitive tour. I guess it's sort of like a circuit kind of thing with different um, competitions that sort of lead to larger ones. Sort of like you know golf or any other professional sport. You have these uh, certain tournaments that get established as like the the important ones that lead to you know the highest stakes ones. And uh, the one we're talking about today is something called the Sink Field Cup in St. Louis. Um, this is a, uh, a very, you know, high level tournament where all of the best of the best players come out to compete. Uh, there is a $350,000 reward or purse, I guess you could say for winning. And, um, Magnus Carlsen, you know, riding high on like a 56, I think match streak is obviously favored to win. Um, he kind of, he's kind of the just the top dog. There's really no one that can quite compete with him. Um, 53, rather. And this is a, an interesting, there's a couple of different interesting distinctions here. Classical matches, um, which is a certain style of play, I guess, with a certain set of rules. Then there are also non-classical matches. So he went 53 um, matches without a loss in, in classical play. Um, but, but he did, you know, he, he has lost a few times in non-classical play. And I, I'm not quite sure what the distinction is. Maybe one of you guys are familiar. But there was an upset Gentlemen, uh, a massive upset. A young up-and-comer from America, uh, a dude by the name of Hans Neiman, um, he defeated Magnus Carlsen in in, uh, classical play. You know, every dog has this day. Uh, You know, it's not completely alarming in and of itself for a, a champion to be, you know, dethroned. But almost immediately allegations of cheating started swirling around. Um, First of all, Magnus Carlsen himself posted this very cryptic tweet saying, I've withdrawn from the tournament. I've always enjoyed playing in the STL chess club and hope to be back in the future. And then he posted a clip uh, that's been memed um, pretty pretty constantly or consistently over the years uh, of a, a famous... Um, I believe Portuguese football club manager by the name of Jose uh, Moreno, um, who was involved in some sort of uh, cheating scandal, I believe. And he said something to the effect of, if I speak, I'll be in big trouble. Uh, And that's what he posted. So the implication there, uh, because of the association with this guy in this clip, is that he doesn't want to say what he knows, but his actions in leaving the tournament Really big deal. This guy doesn't do that. This guy, you know, he dominates. And then this this guy, Neiman, responded uh, in, in kind with a comment saying, it must be embarrassing for the world champion to lose to an idiot like me. I feel bad for him. Oof. The self-deprecation part just, just doesn't... It comes off very disingenuous. <laughs> Feels like a real troll. And this guy is kind of more of a product of, like, you know, like the, like the Gen Z kind of vibes. He is a really big Twitch streamer. He, he pretty regularly streams himself playing competitive online, you know, chess. Um, so he's not, like, you know, doing Call of Duty Twitch, but he is, he is a Twitch streamer and has kind of a person, you know, an online 
presence and online personality. And I think there's maybe a sense that he wasn't to be taken seriously as a contender because of this kind of streaming type behavior. It just didn't seem like, I think if there's a sort of like a nose in the air kind of attitude. Um, so he does that. Then this other guy, uh, a guy by the name of Emil Satovsky, the director general of the International Chess Federation, um, he came to the uh, to, to, to have Magnus's back. Um, and he said this. Uh, he said, no matter how this tournament went, Magnus Carlsen never quit. He must have had a compelling reason, or at least he believes he has it. Don't call him a sore loser or disrespectful. Uh, I shall not speculate on the reasons of his withdrawal, but probably would expect TD to air them. Um, I'm not sure what TD is in this context, uh, unless I'm being a, a bonehead here. Um so it goes further than this. Uh, the internet kind of starts going nuts. The chess world starts going nuts. All the speculation because it's pretty difficult to prove cheating in competitive chess, and it's 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 also uh, ju just about as rare for it to even you know pop up. Um, how do you cheat at chess? You're asking yourself. Maybe I think possibly um, there are, there are a couple of ways uh, in in a competitive game like this. In the same way, a coach might have mapped out a series of plays, you know, in an in a American football game. You know, um, they do that, you know, with, with images, with, like, graphics, like on a, a whiteboard, or they could even be, like, in some sort of, like, binder. Uh, same thing is true with, with chess. You know, a lot of times there's these certain... Ga the Queen's Gambit, the name of that show, is named after a very specific type of play um, that, that can be risky, I believe. It puts the queen uh, at risk to some degree. But again, no, I'm no chess master uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but there are all kinds of plays like this. Some of them are, are very famous. Uh, some of them have, you know, they're a little bit more kind of maybe personalized to the individual player. Um, but you could conceivably, you know, like getting the answers to the test in advance, somebody could have, you know, done a Watergate and, and got somebody's play, play sheet. And then you kind of know in advance every move they're going to make before they make it. Um, so that's one possibility. Probably the most plausible because the other one is pretty bizarre. Um, there's this Vice article that, that outlines all this stuff, by the way. It's uh, uh, on Motherboard uh, by Carl Bode. Uh, the chess world is absolutely losing it over cheating allegations after massive upset. Um, the other way is through a device of some kind. And there is one uh, proof of concept that an anonymous uh, maker has, has put out there that uses vibrations uh, in a some sort of like rumble pack kind of situation that goes in a player's shoes that are like wirelessly linked to one of these like microcomputers, Raspberry Pi Zeros, uh, running an open source uh, piece of software called Stockfish. It's a chess engine. Uh, that device would be hidden somewhere in the player's clothes. Um, and in the write up online about this device, the creator said something to the effect of he was looking to recruit a quote, plausibly good chess player to use the shoes to win the world championship. And then was planning on, you know, making a more, you know, elaborate, updated version because he says, this proof of concept only needed to fool my mates in a pub for the duration of two games. To win the world championships, we're going to have to get much more serious. Uh, and so that post has kind of started to be thrown in Neiman's face as potential, you know, for how he may have accomplished this. Uh, it just goes to show how much stock is in this dude Magnus, that, that immediately he's beaten, and, and, and there's the only possible way uh, that another player could have done this, especially a player that is lower ranked. There's this system of ranking called ELO. Fellow uh, chess yeah, enthusiasts, I, I will but, assure you, Magnus is legit. He is tremendously oh, yeah. talented. He is the best living player in the game today. And it's a very old game, mm -hmm. But uh, he could go. He could go to bat. There's actually a lot of debate about how he would perform against other masters of the game. Uh, so it's, you know, it's it's not quite the same as uh, Michael Jordan having a bad day on the court. This is this is very different. Yeah, and then it, then it kind of takes a bit of a of a tawdry turn here. But some members of the internet chess community started speculating, well, how, how did he get this device? Because, again, now they're already assuming that he has this device or something like it. Uh, there were RFID scanners um, leading into and out of the areas of play. Uh, there were, what do they call those things, magnetometers, you know, like those uh, metal detectors that you walk through. Um, and uh, this guy passed through all of them. And 
it may have been that it, it wasn't until the loss that they put some of these measures out. I'm a little unclear on that. But again, the internet chess community has started to speculate that, well, uh, where did he put the device? Could it possibly have been in his anus? Could it have been up his butt? Trigger warning for adult themes here for a second. Um, the idea that a pair of, of a set of vibrating anal beads, uh, which is a device used to you know stimulate the uh, the prostate, um, could have been retrofitted wirelessly uh, to do the same thing that the thing in the shoe was doing to vibrate uh, with certain coded messages that would allow the wearer. <laughs> to uh to you know communicate with that with that um, computer running the open source chess engine uh and you know in the king of the trolls elon musk kind of poured gasoline on this by 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 tweeting about it um so now it's just kind of all out there this idea that this this guy neiman had a cheating mechanism uh in his prison wallet and um that is how he defeated this undefeatable competitor <laughs> 